Thanks for watching Numbskull News. And today we're back to the Big 12 versus Pac-12 versus the ACC in a universe where only those three conferences exist. We're going to use my point system, which will be in the description below as far as if, how that works. But we're going to use that to see who comes out on top over the season. Now it's time to get to week 11. As per usual, we're going to start with the Big 12. And Texas, of course, is still on top with 106 points. But OU finds its way back to the number two spot with 59 points. Just a little ways behind him is Kansas State with 40. And Oklahoma State shit the bed. They get their ass tore off by UCF. 31 points for them. And Kansas also gets their ass handed to them. 28 points. Now, you may, be, you may be asking, well, hold on, hold on. They got the same kind of uh, in-conference record as OU. Yeah, but according to the point system, uh, they're, they're lagging pretty far behind now because they were ranked teams and got beaten by unranked teams. So, this is what happens to you. Texas Tech, because of that big win, climbs up to number six with 15 points. Iowa State... And they got Texas next. Boy, they can do some damage. They're sitting there at the seventh spot. West Virginia, they had their shot. They got beat to hell by Oklahoma. Eight points. UCF coming back out of the doldrums. They now have two points. <laughs> they got. It took a lot of points to get them to positive, by the way. Number 10, BYU, negative 14. At number 11 is Houston, negative 20. At 12, and you know what? They put up one hell of a fight against Texas, negative 21 points. Number 13 is Baylor, <laughs> negative 44. And Cincinnati was so damn far behind they're still negative 48, even though they went on the road and got a nice win against Houston, it wasn't enough. Now we come to the Pac-12, and number one is Washington. They took care of business against Utah, 123 freaking points. Number two is Oregon, looking good with 106. At number three, Oregon State, 68 points. Number four, Arizona, hanging tough, 64 points. Utah falls to number five with 42 points. USC, number six with 37. UCLA, boy, the, the losses are stacking here, 12 points. At number eight, Colorado, minus 26. And I would say... Put the champagne cork back in the bottle for next year. <laughs> it's not looking good. At number nine, Arizona State, negative 27 points. Washington State, can't get out of their way anymore, negative 27. Cal, negative 45. Even with a win, negative 45. At 12 is Stanford, negative 46, and it's only going to get worse. And we're going to end off with the ACC. Number one, Florida State not going anywhere with 115 points, but they have a turd of a game next week. South Alabama? How in the hell? That's crazy. Number two is Louisville with 69 points. And number three is NC State with a nice win, 24 points. Duke, oh, crushing loss in overtime, 22 points. UNC with that win helps them get back up, but they still are just one point behind Duke. Clemson back from the dead with 21 points. At number seven is Georgia Tech somehow with seven points. Miami, falling apart, man. They were doing good. Not so much anymore. Six points. At nine, Boston College falls to number nine with two points. At number ten, Virginia Tech. Nice win, but still negative three points. 
At number 11 is Syracuse with negative 21. And Virginia. Who the hell knew that Virginia would be at the number 12 spot? That's actually impressive. You know, considering where they started from. Negative 35 points. Also with that negative 35 is Wake Forest. Man, they were they had a nice start to the season, then crap. And Pitt. Boy, it's not just a name. <laughs> it's 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 a state of being for that university. Negative 37. And now the top 25. Week 11. Here we go. Washington has got the top spot. Right behind them is Florida State. It's going to be hard for them to hold on to that number two spot considering the crap schedule at the end here. Number three is Oregon. Number four, Texas, and they can climb. Like I said, Florida State has got some real crap they're playing the next two weeks. I know it's Florida, the last game, but let's let's be real. Florida's not very good. Number five is Louisville with 69 points. Oregon State, number six. Doing well, dude. Little engine that could. And speaking of little engine, Arizona, number seven. Oh, you, them damn Sooners are back in the top 10. Notre Dame on a bye week still can't be knocked out of the top 10. Utah, barely holding on to a top 10 spot. Kansas State falls, or actually they're climbing, sorry. <laughs> Kansas State climbing to, uh, with 40 points. Number 12 is USC with 37. Oklahoma State, here we go, Kansas as well. This is what happens when you are unreliable to win games you should. NC State, number 15. Duke at 16. Just one point away, UNC with 21 points. At 18 is Clemson, well inside the top 25 now. At 19, Texas Tech, shockingly, shockingly, at number 19. Number 20 is Iowa State. 21, UCLA is crap right now. They're falling like a rock. West Virginia holding on with eight points. Speaking of holding on, there's Georgia Tech. Miami still in there, and Boston College. By the way, they are tied with UCF, but Boston College was ranked higher last week, so they get the nod. All right, now let me break down everyone's week here. We got the Big 12. They got eight teams in the top 25. The Pac-12 has seven, and the freaking ACC has nine. Now, they got two Two teams inside the top five, I believe. Yeah, number two, Florida State. Number five, Louisville. Everybody else is at 15 and lower. So they're kind of, they're, they're eating up all the spots at the, at the end there. But they're still in the top 25. I think you still have to somehow, even though they got the least amount of teams in the top 25, and I don't think they're going to get more than seven the next two weeks. So the next team down is Colorado with negative 26, and they're not going to get their way. They're not going to get enough points. They, they'll work their way up. So seven is going to be their limit. Uh, UCLA is barely holding on. Another loss or two at toward, here towards the end of the season, and they may only have six. But keep in mind, five of those teams are in the top ten. But the Big 12, despite some losses, some untimely losses, uh, they're still hanging strong. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five teams inside the top 15, two inside the top, two of them inside the top 10. So not too bad. I would probably give the edge to the ACC, though. They also have two inside the top 10, but two inside the top five. I know it's a bunch of people at the bottom of the 25 list, but uh, it's still nine teams. That's quite a bit. So... As of right now, I probably would have to say the Big 12 is narrowly in third place. But the last two weeks, really, it's almost anybody's game here. 
the pack is going to be really tough to get out of that top spot just because they had such a hot start. But we'll find out really soon, next two weeks, who's going to win this bitch. Anyway, that's all I got for this week. I'll be back with some more of this crap next week. Bye.